Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing automated pricing. Uh, basically, if you haven't heard of automated pricing, then you are probably wasting a lot of time with your Amazon business, um, raising prices manually. What you wanna do with automated pricing is basically set a minimum floor and a maximum value at which you want your price to be. And as the price changes from competition, your price will change as well. And that way you can stay buy box competitive. Now, there are a few different routes that you can go with automated pricing. You can have Amazon, you can use their free software, uh, which is the way that I used to do it. I started off my uh, Amazon selling journey using Amazon's free version of the automated pricing. Um, but now I've shifted over to using a third party repricing tool. And why did I do this, you might ask? Well, it's because Amazon's automated pricing tool actually sucks. Third party ones are typically a lot better, but in a lot of cases, they're extremely expensive. Uh, and so that's why I'm gonna be showing you one that I found that is pretty cheap and does a great job for all intents and purposes. So what we're gonna be talking about today is Be Cool. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Hopefully I didn't get it wrong, but that, that's the way it looks. And I, I'm gonna be explaining to you why I believe this software is better and why I think you should switch to it even though you're gonna be paying for it. Uh, so let's get right into this video. So why do I not like Amazon's automated repricing tool? Well, for the most part, it does the job that it's meant to do, but what it does not do very well is raise the price uh, when there's an opportunity for you to have your price go up a little bit and still win the buy box. Third-party repricers do a lot better job at this, and I know this because I used Amazon's repricer for a long time, and it was very rare that I saw my price actually increase when the competition was gone. So I was leaving dollar signs on the table. You don't want to do that in this business. Um, it could mean the difference between taking home, you know, a couple nothing, or you know, a couple extra hundred or thousand dollars, depending on how many listings you have and how much you do on Amazon. So it does not do a good job at raising the price. Now, another thing that Amazon's repricer doesn't really have integrated are different ways that you can construct the rule so that if, for instance, somebody is driving the price down, you don't necessarily want to follow them to the bottom uh, and get to that price war. Uh, and maybe they have a third price, third party software as well, where they're going to raise the price up, but your price now is staying down at that floor. Um, with third party softwares, you can make it so that uh, those who are chasing the price down or pushing the price down, uh, can can go down and then you can just raise your price up back to the top and they'll follow you and then you can match the buy box again chase them down to a certain level and then go back to the top you'll see this pattern you'll see like a ladder pattern I'll show you here um, where that happens frequently and and the reason that's happening on that listing is because those who are selling on the listing are most likely not using Amazon's pricing software. They're using a third-party software. So let's get real quick into Be Cool. I'm gonna show you exactly how some of these rules work, and I'll show you specifically how I have made money, how I have saved money using this tool. Uh, I'm not gonna show you my listings, because obviously I don't want you to see into my store, but I'll get rid of that information so you can see how this is working in real time. So here we are inside of Be Cool. We're in their repricing central app. Right away across the top, you're gonna see a few different tabs that are important, and we are interested in their repricing rules for the purpose of this video today. Uh, if you'd like, you can upload your listings into this tool by just clicking the upload file, and you can see all of your listings here on the manage listings file. But let's not waste any time, and let's just take a look at these repricing rules. BQL has uh, a few stock repricers that are gonna come with this prepackaged. We're not going to take a look at those today. If you'd like, you can read through these, get a free trial. You can get that free trial in the link below. Um, so we're going to do a custom rule so you can see all the features that this app has and why I think it's just so much better than Amazon's repricer. Remember, with Amazon's repricer, you pretty much only have the option to either compete with the buy box by matching it or beat the buy box by going below it. Here, you have so many different options you have with who you're competing with and how you're going to do it. So let's create a custom rule so you can see all of them. We're going to name this custom rule test 
one. All right, so let's go ahead and start. On the first page here, we're gonna select who we are competing for the buy box with. As you can see, we can choose Amazon, FBA, FBM, or non-featured sellers. Now, the great thing about BQL is that there are additional filters to determine who exactly we will be competing with and who we won't be competing with. One of my favorite parts of this filter is we can exclude sellers with a certain seller ID. Now, if a seller is historically known for driving the price down or being in and out of stock and driving the price down, we want to exclude that seller. So we're gonna put their seller ID in here and hit exclude. Now we can also exclude sellers with free shipping, expedited shipping, or a certain amount of feedback or feedback percentage on their store. I typically don't look at these because we are FBA sellers and most other FBA sellers have very high feedback scores and offer free shipping. But one filter that is really great is excluding sellers with backorder product. That way you are not chasing down any of these sellers who is not consistently in stock or is backordered. This allows you to keep your price higher, giving you more profit dollars. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make our selections here and move on to the next page where we are going to select more rules. In this section, we're gonna determine how our price is going to behave when we are currently not winning the buy box. Now, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here because it is very similar to Amazon's repricer with one major exception. If your competitor happens to go below your minimum price in Amazon, you don't have the ability to tell Amazon, hey, I want you to now raise my price up. And the reason why you would want to do that is because if your competition goes below your minimum price and they see that you've raised your price, it might incentivize them to then raise their price. If they do that, then you can chase them back down and win more sales. This just drives up the price and it's great for everybody. So what you would do is you would select right here that when the competition is below your minimum price, you will go up to your maximum price. There's other options here, but but this is the one that I would recommend and it's really one of the big reasons I wanted this software in the first place. This section is very similar to up here. It's just that if your competition is not even within your min or max, if it is at your max, then where you wanna be repriced at. Nothing to explain there. The other really awesome thing about this app is there is a price change safety net. So if competition all of a sudden comes in and drops the price drastically, you won't chase them down so quickly. Keep in mind that there are smaller competitors that sometimes do this. They drop the price for maybe just a little bit because they only have a few units of inventory. You don't wanna chase them. So this is a great way to avoid losing price with competition like that. Scrolling on down, there's advanced settings here where we can set up specific pricing based off of who we are competing with, whether we're competing with Amazon, FBA sellers, or FBM sellers. I'm not gonna go into this, but it is something that is very interesting. And if you get this software, you should check out and play around with. Now that we're in the buy box, we can raise or lower our price based off the competition and where they're at just to secure our ownership of the buy box. But here, what I really love about this tool is we can raise the buy box price and maintain it to maximize profit. This is something that you cannot do with Amazon's repricer. And I have found this is where this software becomes worth its money. Check out these listings where I have seen my price go up in short periods of time within a day. This would not happen on Amazon.com's repricer. Once we've established how we want our price to behave when we are winning the buy box, we can move on and create a schedule for when this pricing rule will be active. Now, the great thing about this is that we can pause the pricing rule late at night around 10 p.m. in the Pacific time zone is what I would recommend. And you can have the price go all the way back up to your max price during this time period and then enable your repricing to begin once again the next morning at 7 a.m. What this does is it raises your price back up during the hours that sales typically don't take place and it gives your competition the incentive to chase you back. Nine times out of 10, your competition will not chase you, but there is that 
10% chance that the competition will raise their price with you late at night and you will be reset the next day at a much higher price being much more profitable. This is one of my favorite things about this app and I highly recommend creating a schedule for all of your pricing rules if you decide to use this software. Now that we've set our schedule, we're gonna go ahead and hit save and finish and head over to our listings to select this pricing rule for whatever listing we want it to apply to. So we would go over to manage listings and once we've selected manage listings, we'll just hit active listings. Here we're gonna go over, set our minimum price, our max price, and then select the rule. Now here, once again, was the rule that we did. It was test one, so we would select test one and hit save. Once we do that, we will begin repricing and you will notice that your price will consistently be higher than if you were using Amazon's automated pricing tool. So there you have it. This is just a quick overview of BQ. I highly recommend it. It'll be in the link below. So hopefully I've convinced you that third-party repricers are well worth their money and Amazon's free tool is not that great. You're gonna make a lot more money in the long run if you have that repricer, so definitely sign up for one. If you want, you can sign up for BQ. Once again, I have it in the link below. So there you have it. Use a third-party repricer. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you're new and you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget I have a Facebook group where there is a free course where I will teach you the steps to go from zero to a hundred thousand dollars per month on Amazon relatively quickly. So join that Facebook group in the link below and we will see you again very shortly in the next video. Take it easy guys. Mike out.